have you ever experienced or joined an earthquake drill? Do you know why is it important? Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are both dangerous. It is really hard to tell when they are going to happen. Earthquakes can occur anytime. But how do we keep ourselves safe when there is an earthquake or volcanic eruption? Well, there is no exact answer for that. But what is important is that we know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake or volcanic eruption. Hi there! My name is Teddy and welcome to science! Today, we are going to learn about the safety precautions before, during, and after an earthquake and volcanic eruptions to lessen its destructive effects to people and properties. First, let's talk about the disaster preparedness on earthquake. Let us recall the earthquake that happened in Bohol, Philippines. It was almost four times the height of the Mount Everest. That's how deep is the focus of the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that hits Bohol. That earthquake is as strong as 32 Hiroshima atomic bomb. That's why even the focus is deep, it results up to intensity 7 of shaking in Bohol and Cebu. The earthquake is also felt in other regions and provinces. The earthquake lasts within a few minutes, followed by several aftershocks. Because of the forceful earthquake, many old beautiful churches got devastated. Houses and structures too. Many vehicles was destroyed. Many people get hurt and die. It brings terror to everyone. Preparedness for calamities like earthquakes include knowing what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. Here are the safety precautions before an earthquake. Check the structure of your house or building. Look for potential dangerous things such as steep hill slopes, hanging objects, falling debris, and many more. Familiarize yourself with your home and school. Know the routes you will take to get out from the building in case of an earthquake. Find a place where fire extinguishers, first aid kits, alarms, and communication facilities are located. Know how to use the said facilities and equipment. Prepare an emergency plan to cope with the disaster. Have a stock of potable drinking water, flashlight, radio, batteries, spare clothes, and some food packed. You may need this in case of an evacuation. Let's proceed to the next. Now here are the safety precautions during an earthquakes. Keep calm when you feel the earthquake. If you are inside a building, go under a desk or table. If you are outside, Stay away from the buildings or electric posts or anything that might fall. Do not rush to the exit when you are in a crowded place like a theater, mall, train, or stadium to avoid stampede. If you are in a moving car, 
asked the driver to stop and park the car away from the buildings, electric wires, or posts. Do not use elevators during and after an earthquake. You can be stranded inside the elevator if a power failure occurs. If you are residing near a coastal area, always be aware of tsunami. If you feel an earthquake, immediately run to a higher grounds. Now here are the things you need to do after an earthquake. Find a safe place when the earthquake is over. Aftershocks are likely to follow. Check the safety of your family members. If someone is missing or in trouble, seek aid to find them. Do not attempt to cross bridges and overpasses which may have been damaged by the earthquake. Check for fires if there are any. Some damages from the earthquake may result to a fire. In case you see a fire, locate the nearest fire control or alarm unit and use it. Keep yourself updated and alert. Authorities may issue some instructions to reduce the effects of the earthquakes. Now you know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. Although, let us keep praying that it won't happen. How about a disaster brought by volcanic eruption? If you are living in a place where there is no near volcano, it is still relevant to know the safety precaution for the future. But before we do that, let us recall the 2020 Taal Volcano Eruption in Batangas. January 12, 2020, Taal Volcano erupted and within just few hours, it was raised from Alert Level 1 to Alert Level 4. The volcano releases thick and high smugs, ashes, and small pieces of stones fell from the sky of Batangas. These heavy ashfall reach its neighboring areas such as Cavite, Laguna, and some part of Metro Manila. Vehicles and tourists got stranded. And after that day, the volcano emitted lava and pyroclastic materials. A lot of residents in Batangas evacuated immediately to stay away from the danger and fear brought by the disaster. Everything they save and their properties are left. Many people lose their livelihood and home. Now here are the safety precautions that you need to remember before a volcanic eruption. Be aware of any unusual volcanic activity. Listen to the radio or people of authority for safety instructions. Prepare emergency supplies like flashlights, candles, matches, and first aid kit. Stock some food and water. Evacuate before volcano erupts. It is not safe to stay at home and wait for the start of an eruption. Doing so could very dangerous. Stay safe. Prepare mask for the nose and mouth. They are to be used in case of an ashfall or volcanic smog. Now here are the safety precautions that you need to remember during a volcanic eruption. Stay indoors. 
cover your nose with a mask or damp cloth when volcanic ash or dust is present in the air. Keep your food and water covered. Stay away from low places. Rocks, lava, and mud flows are likely to flow toward low-lying areas. Stay in the evacuation center. Avoid going back to the house while the volcano is erupting. Now, here are the safety precautions that you need to remember after a volcanic eruption. After the eruption, do not go back home right away. Wait for the instructions on when it is safe to return home. Avoid crossing a bridge when Lahar flows is under it. Remove ash from your roofs. Ashfall can cause roofs to collapse. Check if your drinking water is clear and if the electrical wirings at home are intact and safe. If you have respiratory ailments, stay indoors to avoid inhaling dust and ash. Seek advice if it is safe to go outside. Now you know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake and volcanic eruption. Let us see if you really learned something and answer the online quiz in the description.